In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the iRacing weight jacker plugin for Joystick Gremlin, giving you the perfect balance between precision and ease of use. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're an iRacing enthusiast like me, you know that adjusting the weight jacker efficiently can make a huge difference on the track. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an iRacing weight jacker plugin for Joystick Gremlin, giving you the perfect balance between precision and ease of use. In iRacing, you can adjust the weight jacker either incrementally or by using a rotary encoder, but both methods have their, have their drawbacks. The incremental method requires too many clicks and the rotary encoder method lacks precision. The solution is a custom plugin for Joystick Gremlin that combines the best of both worlds. Before we get started, you'll need to have a few things set up. Number one, install and configure VJoy with at least 41 buttons. Number two, install Joystick Gremlin. And number three, download the irweightjacker.py plugin file. First, let's configure VJoy. Run the um, configure VJoy utility and create a new device with 41 buttons. This step is crucial for the plugin to work correctly. Once done, make sure you, you reboot your, your system. Next, install Joystick Gremlin. You can download it from their official website. Once installed, open Joystick Gremlin and navigate to the Plugins tab. Now, let's add a custom plugin. So, click the plus button in the Plugins tab and select the irweightjacker.py file. This script will map your buttons to set and adjust weight jacker values dynamically. With the plugin added, click the gear icon to configure it. Make sure the correct VJoy device is selected and all 41 buttons appear in the dropdown. Then, assign your buttons as follows. Minimum weight jacker button, set the weight jacker to the minimum value, which is default minus 20. The mid weight jacker button, it's pretty much used as a reset, so set the weight jacker to the middle value, so default is zero. Max weight jacker button, set that weight jacker to the maximum value, so again in iRacing that's plus 20. Now let's configure iRacing, so make sure the buttons you, you've assigned in, in Joystick Gremlin are not conflicting with any other assign, assignments in iRacing. Then go to the options, controls, select right rear spring offset, that is the weight jacker, and set the type drop down to use rotary knob. Press and hold the minimum weight jacker and maximum weight jacker buttons simultaneously for two seconds. You'll hear a voice prompt for, for calibration. Release the buttons and our racing should detect um, and it will come up, it will come up with dev hashtag q axis 0 to 40. Click done to finish the calibration. With everything set up, you can now use the plugin while racing. Press the maximum weight jacker button to set the weight jacker to plus 20 instantly. Use the increment buttons to fine tune the setting. The plugin will dynamically update your button settings in real time, making adjustments seamless and precise. And that's it. With this setup, you can make precise adjustments to your weight jacker with minimum button presses, all while staying focused on the race. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more iRacing tips and tutorials.